Good evening. Good evening. How are you, Anthony? Good evening, Romario. Um, can you guys see me okay? Good evening, teacher. Yes, we can. Okay, good, good. All right, excellent. Okay. Um, how are you, Jorge? I'm fine. Thank you. I'm yeah. happy to be in Tuesday or Wednesday. Thursday. Thursday. Yeah. Yeah. Thursday. Because tomorrow I come I will come back to San Salvador. Oh, okay, okay. Because you uh you return on the weekend. Yes. Um okay, okay. In your 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 fam your family is in San Salvador. Yes, mm. I I'm here just because the the work. Right. But we can I I return to San Salvador. Mm, that's nice. Yeah, I'm sure you're you're happy about that. So um so what what time do you do you go after work? Is that how you do it? Yes, I start my my travel to San Salvador, maybe 6 p.m. Okay, okay. So in sometimes I'm, I'm arriving to my house at nine. At nine? Oh, yeah. wow, that's very late. It, it, it's up to the traffic. Mm, yeah. Yeah, especially on a Friday, right? So, it's uh, I'm guessing that it's even more on a yes, Friday. Definitely, and because there are many places where when there are making some works in the in the streets. Oh, okay, okay. They're working. They're working on the streets. Okay. Yeah, I get it. Yeah, it's true. It makes it the, the trip longer. Yes, mm -hmm. but this is good to take a rest the weekend. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I'm I'm glad you're you're able to rest. And that that's good. Okay, good, good. So um yeah, so I'm I'm sure. I'm sure uh, Fridays are extra special for you. Yes, but it's shorter than the days of the regular <laughs> weekend. What What do you mean? Uh, the weekend is is shorter. Shorter. Because, shorter because. Uh, it's not enough time to do many things. Mm. Yeah, I get it. it. But you leave on Monday morning. Repeat, please. Do you leave on Monday morning? Yes. Mm. Okay, so, yeah. Okay, so you have all of Saturday and Sunday completely off for you. Yes, but uh, Sunday in the the afternoon i i'm thinking to i have to wake up so early in the monday so sunday in the night is just to, to sleep mm. yeah i get it i get it well but yeah that's it is but is that going to be something permanent like or is it just like for a short period of time, or how does that work? I have more than five years in with this schedule. Wow. wow. Yeah, it's been a while. <laughs> yeah. Well, um, think of it this way. Um, you only have 
four and a half, approximately four and a half uh, more modules to go with this course, which represents approximately between six to seven more months. And that means that, um, that uh, you will be able to rest a little bit more. So it won't be that a chaotic for you. So yeah. that's that's something to to look forward to. It's my motivation. Mm, yeah, yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure, yeah. Well, that's good. Yeah, there's always something you, you gotta be motivated to do something. Right. So that's that's yeah. good. Yeah, excellent. Okay. Hello, Wendy. How are you? I am eating my dinner. <laughs> okay. Enjoy your meal. How was okay. how was how was your day? Wendy, how was your day? Um, my day was a little busy. Mm. A little busy. I normally I I eat my lunch my mm -hmm. lunch in my home. Yeah. And and yesterday and today, uh, I was. Eating, eating my lunch in in the office. Oh, <laughs> for the customer, yes. Oh, okay, yeah. So yes. it was it was definitely a busy day. Yes, a busy day. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, thanks, I hear you. Thanks of God, uh, because I I sell or I I sell service service in the travel agency. Thank God what? Sell service. For example, change the date or for example a confirmation or forms or American visa. Mm. And, yeah. Okay. So I give I give price price of travel tickets. Uh -huh. um, yes, I... hmm. Okay. Okay. Well, that's good. Excellent. I'm glad to hear that. That um, you you had um a good a good day at work. Yeah. Um. Hello, Romario. How are you? Good evening. Good evening. Well, I I can't complain. Everything is good. Cool. Good, good. Thank you, for asking. you can't complain because you literally can't complain. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm good. I'm good. Okay, okay, all right, good. I'm glad to hear that. Excellent. Okay. Um, I see Norma that you're you're driving home. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay, okay. Yes, Thank you. Yeah, well, thank you for for connecting, even though you're you're busy. So I really, really appreciate that. Well, thank you very much. Hello, Diana. Diana Elizabeth. Diana Elizabeth, are you there? Bien, Isabel, ¿está usted ahí? Mm, I guess not. And Silvia Suleima? Silvia Suleima, are you there? Tampoco, no se encuentra. Hmm, okay. Hello, Mario José. Uh, hello, good evening. Good evening, how are you? Oh, good. Yeah? 
Okay, good. How was your day? Ah, really busy. Uh, yeah? Yeah, a lot of work. Ah, okay. Is that good? Do you like to be busy? Um, it's good for somebody. Yeah, no, it's good for, for everybody because, you know, uh, if we have uh, uh, a lot of work, it's, it means that uh, we have a, a, we have the opportunity to uh, to to make our our things. So it it's good for for the company. It's good for us because you now being busy, it's making money. So <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. I get it. Yeah. So. Um, yeah, so it, it's 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 a good thing, even though um, it may be tiring, right? Yeah, yeah, it's tired, but you know you you learn to handle it, handle yeah. it. Uh, so it's normally yeah. in 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 my job. It's normally to to get a uh, a busy day. Sometimes there is a lot of busy days, but we have some few days that we have chance to to take a, our time to rest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And hey, at least we have a job, right? Uh, <laughs> indeed, yes. Uh, I guess it's better uh, being tired to, uh, to work, I'm being tired to trying to find out one so. a job yeah exactly yeah unfortunately there are people that you know can't find a job and you know they been looking for a job for a while so or or at least they can't find a good job right so at least right so that's um at least we we, we can be thankful for that yeah yeah we have to think uh positive in, on that so it's, exactly we, we, we have uh, the blessed to to get the job to, to have mm -hmm. the job and and, and have the food on the table. So mm -hmm. I, it's better to be tired for that. Not tired yeah. of food to to not have food on the on the table. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. So um, we got to look at the bright side of things. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that's true. That's good. Okay, let's see who else is here. Hello, Susana, how are you? Good evening, teacher. Good evening, how are you? Uh, working, teacher. Are you working still? Yes, teacher. Oh, wow. Yes. Wow. And tomorrow, I don't... Uh, and see to video and open the video tomorrow. Sorry, I don't understand. Tomorrow you don't open the tomorrow video. I I I want I want open the video. The what? camera. Oh the camera. Mm -hmm. Oh okay. Tomorrow no. <laughs> oh why not? What happened? It uh, uh, because I I work in two. I I, I stay in I we stay in my office. Mm. Uh -huh. I see. Okay. Okay. I see. I see. All right. Um. Okay. And uh, Diana, Elizabeth, so so um, Silvia, Suleima, todavía no las veo. Are you there? Are you there, girls? Yes, teacher. Okay, good, good, good. Um, yes, can you open your cameras? Uh, I I don't know, Suleima. You look like you're having problems. Ah, there. Okay, there she is. All right, good. How are you, Suleima? I'm fine, teacher. 
Good, good. How was your day? Mm, I um my day was very stress, very stressful. Stressful and oh. and different because um uh, I I I have no no cómo se dice yo tuve que I had I, to uh, I have to um uh, go to the cemetery on oh. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Um, why did, why us. did is you had to go to the cemetery for your job, or what? or was you had to go to the cemetery for your job, or or oh, was it for something a, personal? Uh, yes, personal. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I'm I'm sorry to hear that. Thanks. Yeah, yeah. That's not that's not easy. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, um, I hope you have a, a you have a better day tomorrow. Yeah. Okay. All right. And uh, Diana, are you are you there, sweetie? Because I can't hear you. I can't see you. Yes, teacher, I'm making dinner. Ah, okay, okay. Um, how are you? <laughs> uh, fine. Okay, I good, had good. A, also a busy day. You also had a busy day? Really? Yeah. Okay. The vacation is definitely over then. <laughs> yes, sadly. <laughs> yeah, that happens. But hey, um, next, next week you won't you'll have a semi-vacation because you won't have to be... No, I don't. Um, <laughs> you won't I be... Won't con <laughs> yeah, exactly. You won't have to be connecting to class. It'll be, it'll be nice. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Good, good. Um, hello, Jennifer. How are you? Hi, good evening. Good evening. How are you, how are you today? Um, yeah. My dad's doing great. Mm. Okay, good. You're still at work too? Yes. Mm. I need to, to have a, a low weekend, a slow um, next week. I'm not going to be on vacation, but I, I hope to take off uh, Monday. And then mm -hmm. I need to finish some additional tasks. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, I I hope um I hope uh, you were able to to take one day off. Yeah, me too. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Good. And like I said, you're gonna have a a semi vacation at least. I'm starting from Monday. Yes, a long weekend. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Exactly. Uh, hello, Norma. Norma, are you there? Norma Carolina, se encuentra? No, okay. And Cristian? Cristian, good evening. Good evening, how are you? Good. I'm still working, Miss. So um, today I think that I can participate in the in the groups or, or activities. Ah, I see. Okay, okay. Would you just do me a favor? I I noticed that you put in parentheses listener, but um, we can only put listener if you're not registered in the class. And the reason is because when uh, it's a for um, auditions, oh, sorry, audits, um, the the videos and and maybe even can come into the class. Uh, they can they can identify if somebody is not on the list, 
But if they are on the list, we can't put as listeners. Does that make okay. sense? Yeah. Okay. So if you so just just put your name regular regular as in it will know. Okay. okay. All right. Okay, guys. So I'm going to take attendance right now. Um. So please. Um, open up your microphone. So, Cristia, is it possible to turn on your microphone and camera just for for the attendance? Yes, I, I can turn on the camera, Miss. Sorry. No, it's okay. Okay. Um... Delbert. Delbert, no. Uh, Diana Elizabeth. Your teacher. Okay, wonderful. Okay. Um, enjoy your food. Thank you. Okay, uh, Jennifer Elizabeth. Here. Wonderful. <clears throat> um, Jorge Humberto. Present teacher. Excellent. Uh, Manuel Antonio. Manuel Antonio. No, I can't see him. Okay. Maria Elena. Maria Elena. Mario Ernesto. Presentation. Okay, wonderful. Uh, Mario Jose. Yeah, I'm here, teacher. Okay, wonderful. And um, Norma, Norma Carolina. Present, teacher. Wonderful, thank you. From Mario. Present. Excellent, thank you. And Suleima. Present. Excellent. And uh, Susana? Present. Okay, excellent. Um, and Wendy? Present, teacher. Okay, very good. Excellent. Okay, guys. Um, okay. All right, guys. So we're going to start um please tell me if you can see my powerpoint <clears throat> you see it yes teacher yeah okay perfect Okay, so oops. Okay, um, so this is a course um English English for work program advanced module two. Your facilitator is um Jessica Herrero. The date is March thirtieth, two thousand twenty three, and it's day number nine. So um, let's start with a review of the appositives and how we need to use the commas to set off the appositives. So we defined, just as, this is a quick review, just to uh, remember. Um, so we learned that appositives were um, groups of uh, words or groups of words, okay? And what they're doing is that they are defining or identifying uh, the noun, <clears throat> excuse me, um, the noun or the noun phrase. Okay, so that's what they're doing. All right. Um, does that make sense to everybody? Do you understand what I mean by defines or identifies? Mm 
I'm not sure, teacher. Okay. Defines it means that it's giving a definition of what something is. Okay. So if I say, for example, if I'm talking about an ATM, what's an ATM? Uh, a machine that uh, gives you money from your bank account. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it, it's defining, it's, it's giving a definition of what it is. Add okay. information to the to the the what the the name of the 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 person or the or the article that you are talking. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So it's defining what it is. It's giving me a definition, or it's identifying. So it's telling me which one. So. Um, a, the, that guy, um, and then you can say, for example, a, wearing the blue suit. So I'm identifying which guy I'm talking about. Maybe there's a lot of guys in the room. Who am I talking about? I'm identifying, ah, the one that is wearing the blue suit. What about this example? My my team and I play soccer yesterday. The name of my team is the Blues. Just for other information about the team. Yeah, that's adding information, but that's not identifying or defining. The identifying or defined goes immediately after the thing that you identify mm -hmm. or defining, immediately after. So if you notice, um, with all of these ones, we have um, a Jerry Lee. Our boss. Okay. Yeah. Jerry Lee, our boss. Um, the more emotionally healthy executives. And directly after that, and I mean literally directly after that, we have the appositive, right? So it's not, so whatever you are, you are defining or identifying goes directly after the thing that you are talking about, okay? So that we know that there's a direct meaning or a direct um I'm <clears throat> sorry, a uh, correct uh, direct definition or ident or identity of that thing or person or place randomly. Does that make sense for him? Yes, uh, but in the same example, my my soccer team, who the name is Blues, for example. It's 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 good. The, it's okay. The the structure. Can you repeat? Uh, my soccer team, who who the name is Blues, for example. Uh, then I continue with the sentence. The name is what did you say? Blues. Blues. Just okay. Okay. So you said. The soccer team whose names whose name is the blues. Mm -hmm. When you say whose name is the blues, that's actually makes it a relative clause. That's not a noun or noun phrase. Mm -hmm. Okay, we were just talking about a noun or a noun phrase. That's it. Only a noun or a noun phrase. Okay. Or yeah, following okay. the uh, the example from uh, if I from Jorge, if I say for example uh, uh, the beginning was uh, the championship team of this tournament. We'll play tomorrow is 
is that the uh, how okay. we have to Ahora, what is the uh, I mean it, it is that the the that you are telling that if I say the the Vikings goes the Vikings the, yeah okay the Vikings mm -hmm. the the championship uh, the, the champion team from this tournament will play tomorrow yes yes exactly yeah so um yes that's okay why because okay so I'll write it down what you just said the Vikings mm, hold on Vikings the champions of this yeah of this tournament and then what did you say after that they will play tomorrow or will play tomorrow We'll play tomorrow. Of this tournament? I, I, I mean, uh, or the the actual, how do you say it with, with, with the with a team that is the actual uh, champion uh, as a, it's a new tournament, but he was the champion of the last tournament. Mm, like maybe of last year, yeah, yeah. because this tournament that we still don't have champion if, if they're gonna if they're still playing we don't have a champion yet right so the champions of last tournament will play tomorrow or maybe the the champion of this league or the the actual champ champion of this league will play tomorrow um the champions from this league Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, so that, that works because if you notice, um, we have a noun, which is the Vikings. And then after that, I am <clears throat> identifying who the Vikings are, okay? And I'm identifying it by a noun phrase. The noun phrase is the champions from this league. Should, yeah, should actually say the champions of this league. That is the that they identify the, the Vikings. Mm-hmm. That is correct. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Yes. Yes, teacher. So if you notice we have the noun and then we have a noun phrase. Right? This noun phrase identifies who the Vikings are. Okay, sounds good. Any questions about this uh, so far? Mm -hmm. Good evening, everybody, and for the teacher. Good evening, teacher. Manuel. Uh, good morning. <laughs> uh, uh, mm -hmm. uh, respect the about this uh, sentence. Uh, I think uh, according the the rule, uh, the only opposites that are extra information. Mm -hmm. uh, in, the, in this case, uh, is mentioned, is mentioning uh, like, uh, or only the extra information, but the, and, and now, of course, uh, but just, uh, the the positive is only for 
extra information? No. Oh. No. Uh, when it's extra information, and I'll repeat that, when it's extra information, we use commas yes. to set off the the appositive. Okay. But that's your, that's uh, that that's what we're learning right now. We're learning yes. how to use the commas, right? And the yes. commas are used only when the um a positive is extra information. But let's be careful to find, to understand that a positive can mm -hmm. be essential yes. information or or essential information or extra information. Yes, yes, uh, I know. But in this case, the uh, positive is set off by comma, right? But right. the examples of this list, uh, the question is only the extra information or essentially is essential information. Do you need that information? No, no, no. Uh, the positive in this uh, sentence, uh, the champions of this league, for me, is only extra information, but right. not necessarily essential information, right? Exactly, yeah. Okay, this is a question, yeah. And the reason it's because it makes sense if I eliminate it, mm -hmm. I, it still makes sense. The Vikings will play tomorrow. I don't need yes. more information. Yeah? Yes. But, for example, in this case, I can't eliminate the appositive. The appositive is in this one right here. CEO Kevin Clark is meeting with the employees. Yes. To encourage. I can't do that because if I, if I, I'm sorry, if I eliminate Kevin Clark, which is the apostle, sorry. Yeah, because you we need we need uh, for example, who is Kevin Clark or who are Kevin Clark? Mm. Who are doing or who will are? In this case, is meeting with the employees. No, no, we don't need information about Kevin Clark because Kevin Clark is a positive. Yes. We need information about the CEO because if I eliminated Kevin yes. Clark, who is okay. the positive, this does not make sense. I can't just say yeah. CEO no. is meeting. No, because uh, we, we don't know who is the CEO, the CEO. Yeah, we would have okay. to say the CEO, for example, the CEO of this company, this or simply me, the CEO, but yes. just CEO, no. But definitely okay. Kevin Clark is a positive. It's a positive. Uh, okay. Yeah. In so, this case, yes, is for me, in this case, uh, is uh, essential information, right? Exactly. Yeah. Because we can't, il because if we eliminate it, the sentence doesn't make sense. That's why we uh, we can't separate by commas. Exactly. That's yeah. why we can't separate it by commas. Okay. Yes. Okay. Um. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Pretty much. It, that's how it works. Yeah. Okay. Any questions? Any other questions then? Clear, teacher. Okay, good, good. More questions, guys? You can ask any question you want. Preferably related to a positive. Okay, teacher. Related to a positive. Mm -hmm. uh, like you said before, uh, which is something that defines or identifies. Mm -hmm. It's not just say the, the name of the, uh, for example, in the case of Jerry Lee, the CEO of the company. Okay, it sounds, sounds good, but in other cases, uh, for example, if 
if you are talking about the one soccer team, the FAS, for example, which could be uh, like they define that that team, maybe like uh, there is a team from Santa Ana. Is enough to be on a positive? Give me the sentence because I, I would need to know the uh, sentence. The the soccer team FAS, the name is FAS of the of this soccer team, is from Santa Ana. That is enough or that's defined the 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 team. Or need or I I need more information to like this. The soccer team, I put come uh, uh, after fast the soccer team fast. What is the appositive? Uh, oh, better a better said. Okay, let's 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 break it down. What am I defining or identifying? Yes, the, the the name is the soccer team fast. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna listen to my question. What are we defining or identifying? Okay. What is uh, is a team uh, is it's a soccer team from a soccer Santana. team. Okay, the soccer team. Okay, the soccer team. We're defining the soccer team. Right? Okay. Or yeah. Um, yes. But that okay. is the, the question. Uh, that uh, is enough to say that this team is from Santa Ana to define it or not? Is this a sentence or is there more sent more information in the sentence? Uh, I was thinking the soccer team fast. In that uh, in that place, I put the the com. So okay. The next, Let, the okay. Next hold, hold on, hold hey. You're you're confusing me. So just just ask ask me um, answer this question. Is this sentence the entire sentence, or do you are you adding more information here, or is this it? Is this the whole sentence? No, the i said the the first part of the sentence is <clears throat> the soccer team fast mm -hmm. okay so the, this is it right this is it no is, more no more information in the sentence okay so again i'll repeat this the thing that you are talking about is the soccer team yes right yes okay okay what's the appositive uh i want to identify that that team uh -huh. uh, I was thinking uh, identify this team that is from Santa Ana department no no, it, no. that that's not defining the team no that's not defining the team because where is the rest of the sentence? You can put uh, some information, some additional. That's, information. that's why I was asking you, is this all of the sentence or are you adding more information? Because uh, if you're gonna if you're gonna give me more information, then we can change that into a positive. But if that's the whole sentence, then no. No, you you can add uh, uh, this this team won 70, 70 cups of the of the National League. Okay. The soccer team FAS the soccer team FAS is from Santa Ana. Teacher, I I I, I think like uh, George said, if if we add more information, uh, this uh, this a positive, for example, uh, can be uh, between, for example, fast. We can say uh, 
is the actual championship, actual champion. Yeah, okay. In the major league. Okay, so let me let, let me make it simple for you. Okay, I, I want you to understand what um, what a definition or identify is because I think the problem is that we don't understand that part. So the soccer team, that's the thing that we're talking about, right? Now, what's the appositive? The appositive in this case is fast. That's the positive. Why? Because we need a verb after that. What's the verb after that? The verb is, is. Is. Okay. So the positive is fast. Can we eliminate? Can, is this an uh, uh, extra information? No, it's not. We need that information. Okay. So we have to say the soccer team fast is from Santana. There is no commas. Even though uh, FAS is in a positive, we're not going to put commas because it's essential information. Now, if we wanted to give, make, make like, I think what you wanted to do was change this whole thing into an a positive. I think that's what you wanted to do, if I'm not mistaken. Well done. Um, <clears throat> give me a second. Ah. Oh, hold on, give me a moment. Okay. All right, so if you wanted to make this whole thing into a positive, which is what I think you wanted to do originally, actually, I think what you wanted to do that was this, if, if I'm not mistaken. Um, the soccer team fast. Just... <laughs> and then you wanted to make this into an appositive. To be able to do that, First of all, we do have to eliminate the is because then it doesn't make sense, right? Okay, so that's the first thing we're gonna have to do. So we can't say is from Santana, we just have to say the soccer team. And then I say from Santana. Okay, and in that case, the sentence continues, right? So the sentence continues. First of all, we have to we have to set aside the positive with a commas, okay? And then we continue the sentence. What are the sentence? For example, soccer team fast from Santana um, is playing tonight. Okay, but we can't. We have to continue that sentence. We can't just leave it like that. Does that make sense? Yes. But uh, or just plain, it's plain, just plain. I can lose. But then from the, the part of the sentence from Santa Ana, identify the the soccer team fast. Exactly. Uh, is enough from Santa Ana, for example. Yes, because that's a noun phrase. Okay. Okay, it's a known phrase, so yes. But we we can't just leave it as, is from Santana. 
Does that make sense? Yes, yes. Okay. All right. All right. Any any other questions, guys? A very easy way that you can think about if it, if you need a comma or not. Two ways, basically. The first way, the first thing you got to do is eliminate the appositive. If the appositive if if by eliminating the appositive, the sentence still makes sense, then that's extra information, and we have to set it aside with commas. But if we eliminate the appositive and the sentence does not make sense, that means that it's essential information, and we cannot eliminate it, so we do not put commas. Now, a way that you can identify if something is a is essential is pretty much, if it's a, just a noun, it's probably gonna be essential information. If it's a noun phrase, it probably is going to be extra information. Okay, just like, okay, Kevin Clark. Kevin Clark is a, is, is a, a noun, so it's essential information. But words like from Santa Ana, is the CEO of the company who leads talks on employee um on employee honesty is measured on the battery of tests. Those are now phrases. So that's extra information. Sounds good, guys. Yes. yes? No. So I, I'm hearing a lot of the guys. The guys uh, are there. They're asking questions. I'm wondering if the girls um, are also there. And they're. Um, I see the majority of you are have your cameras off. I don't know why. So like, I think it's like seven people with their cameras off. So I don't know if you're there. Yeah. Do you see my camera? Um. Yes. Uh, yes, I can see your camera, Jennifer. The people I can't see are Norma Carolina, Mario Ernesto, Cristian, Natalie's, um, so Silvia Suleima. So those are the people I can't see. So if you guys can turn on your cameras, because I cannot see you guys, and I don't know if you're there. Okay. Um, all right. So any questions at this point, anything you want to ask before we do the exercises? Because um, like I said, this was a review, but but still, like if there are questions, something you want to ask, you're more than welcome to do that. No? No, teacher. Okay. okay. All right. So I'm gonna guess that that this is everybody talking and everything everything is okay for everybody. So in that case, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do these exercises. So it says read the sentence below, decide if some of the phrases are positives. Notice if some of the phrases are positive. So it doesn't mean that all of them are positive. Then add commas if necessary. Okay, so two things. First, the first thing you have to do with this exercise is to be able to identify if, if the, the phrases are positives. Okay, that's the first thing. The second thing is if they are positives, you have to add the commas if necessary. So there are two possibilities here. One possibility is that it's it's not at a positive, or better so there are three positive possibilities here. The first possibility says that there is no positive, so they don't have to do anything about it. 
The second possibility is that it is an appositive and you have to add commas. And the third possibility is, is that it's an appositive, but it's essential information, so you do not add commas. Okay, sounds good, guys? So remember, there are three possibilities. One, that it's not an appositive, so don't do anything. Two, it is an appositive, and you have to put the commas, add the commas because it's extra information. Or three, it's an appositive, but it's a essential information, so don't add any commas. Okay, so I'm going to stop sharing here. I'm going to... You just need uh, commas when the when just is uh, an extra information. Right, exactly. Only when it's extra information. If it's essential information, don't add the commas. All right, sounds good, guys? Yes. Any questions? So it's, it's, this is clear, right? Yes, teacher. Yeah? Okay, so I'm going to um, send you the exercise through WhatsApp, although it's it's um it's the same exercise that is in the book, right? But um, just in case you need it, I will send it to you. Um, I don't know why it's going on here. Okay. Some reason it's not letting me. Why is that not letting me do this? This is weird. It's like stuck. Hmm. So strange. Okay, just give me a second, guys. For some reason, I have it. Oh, okay. I think I know what's going on. Let me see if this helps. Yeah, that was it. Okay. All right, so I'm going to send you guys right now uh, through the WhatsApp. I'm going to send you the exercises. Um, um, so you can do it. And I'm going to also put you into your small groups. Um, Diana, Elizabeth? Yes, teacher. Are you there? You can participate? Yes. Okay. All right. Can you turn on your camera? Um, yes. Sorry. I'm okay. using weapon. Oh, okay. Okay. Perfect. All right. Um, and Norma Carolina, are you going to be able to participate? Maybe not. I don't know. What about Mario Ernesto? Yes, teacher. Okay. Okay. All right. Wonderful. And Christian, Natalie, I'm guessing probably not. Um. Okay. All right. So I'm going to put you guys in the groups and I'll give you about 10 minutes to do that. Okay. So we're opening the groups right now. Mario Jose. Mario Jose. Mm. 
Hello, Mario Sí, sorry, but I, 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 estoy en un diplomado también. Entonces, no, sorry. Pero tengo que estar presente también en el diplomado. Hey guys, are you going to uh, be able to work together? Mejor le voy a cerrar mi micrófono para que participen ustedes. Sorry. Uh, we are read, reading the, the, the sentence teacher and deciding if if there are an, a positive or not. Okay, okay. Um, if, but if you can work together, like do it together. Okay, so that that it looks like you're actually working as a, as a team. Okay. Okay. Hello, guys. Hi. Any questions? Any problems? Mm. Well, these uh, are a little bit different than the parenthetical. Um, yes. And it's kind of confusing. What is confusing? Yeah, because, okay, here in the positive is, if it isn't a positive, we don't add commas. No. Right? Mm -hmm. It's not a positive, don't do anything. Yeah, yeah don't do anything. Mm -hmm. And uh, what was the other one? But if defines or identifies, and then we need to add commas. Yes and no. Only if only if the appositive is extra information. If it's not extra information, don't add commas. But then what is the difference with the parenthetical? Because if it's additional information that does not change the meaning, mm -hmm. we add commas. And in this one, yeah, that's why I was saying yesterday um, that that it's different because the positives can be extra information or can be essential information. Mm -hmm. Whereas, uh, whereas in parenthetical element, it's always extra information. Okay, and then okay. let me let me try this one. Okay, and happy. Mm -hmm. and, sorry, and the other thing is that. The, the apothetives are always nouns or noun phrases. Mm -hmm. A po uh, the parenthetical element can be any other type of phrase. Mm -hmm. Okay, it would be a noun or noun Sorry. phrase. Yeah, yeah, or clause. Okay, it happy can also be a clause. Yes, happy employees increase productivity and make it easier to attract 
talented new hires. Could be here. No, don't have. Mario Ernesto. Mario Ernesto, can you hear me? Oh, okay. It's just, um, I'm not sure. Sometimes I'm not sure if you're there. Um, are you going to be helping Jennifer out? I don't know if it's me, but I, I can't hear you very well, Mario. Yeah, I barely hear hear him. Yeah. In, or, do you do you have do you have um right now? Yeah, I'm wondering okay. if you have like a uh, ear earphones. No, I I need some Hmm. Okay. Because it it sounds a little bit. Now it's better. Yes. No. Yes. Yes. We can hear you better yeah. now. It was the fun. Ah. Yeah, because the there was like interference. Yeah. Okay. So I was telling, I was telling you that I was telling um this is the two point five, but only do only three point five. Two point five. Two or three. The homework. Two. Oh, yeah. okay. Two point okay. five. Two point five. Yeah. But try to discuss it together. So, independent of what the uh, of what the exercises are in the platform are, it try to discuss why those are the answers. Because what's important about this is not just the answers, but why those are the answers. Okay. Okay. Do you have any problems, guys? I, I, um, I, like, I like to hear discussion. Yeah, I need, yeah, I need to understand what what uh would be the a positive. Okay, but because it, yeah, because it is a positive that means that is defines or identifies, and does not need to add commas. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so try try to discuss this with Mario. So if like ask him questions and everything. So don't just be in silence, right? This is a group work. So 
So if there's something you don't understand, ask him, discuss with him. Maybe he understands something that you don't. Maybe you understand something that he doesn't. Okay. Well, like this is the first one and 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 does not need commas. No, I can't. Um, criminal act. Happy employees, no, no, come. I think that's. Um, I. How do you say revita? Revito. Oh? Check. Check. I check my homework. Um, yeah. I, I una to buy. Manual, but Money of the best management? No, not comma. Okay. Many of the best management practices currently on trend are easier to achieve if the company acts ethically. No, not comma. Uh, for okay. me, there's no commas. There. Not comma. Ah, okay. Mm. As in the first one. Okay. In platform? Okay. Okay, okay. Now remember. Um, in in many ways but okay. I, uh, I I I have the I have the good and it say the number three it says not putting up with bad behavior yes comma yes like harassment or discrimination comma yes it may work more enjoyable for employees like harassment or discrimination yes yes when i when i set off with commas uh, the the platform doesn't accept me the answer i, I guess uh, it's missing the the last point I guess uh, that... the, yes uh, when you put the point it's the same the same a issue because I already put the the, the uh, I I forgot but this is not point is a uh, teacher help 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 us please how do you say punto final <laughs> I forgot period period thank you teacher ya lo voy a anotar <laughs> period welcome. but you put the period in my platform doesn't work doesn't accept the, the answer. But, but I, I have, uh, I I put it and I have the correct answer. Actually, I put the comma. Usted si se lo acepta? Uh, yeah. A mí no me lo acepta. I put Yo the copy comma. Y pego, I put the commas, but in my platform doesn't accept. 
I put the comma after behavior. Yeah, because the the the, the key is uh, copy paste. Yeah. And then you can uh, put the, the comma uh, in uh, uh, behavior, like harassment or discrimination, comma, can make discrimination, comma, can make uh, work more enjoyable for employees, but doesn't accept me. Uh, I try to to copy paste from from the manuals uh, from the students' manual. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh... what happens? Yeah, I don't know, but because I actually I you had the, um, the, 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 the yeah the, I I, I the copy answers. yeah I I copy and I, I paste it and yes and, I I try and then I because uh, I try that uh, I have been for trying a few times and and I in in my uh in, in the you, platform. You, you don't you don't know when, you don't when, have problem yeah i don't know if maybe if after the 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 last word sometimes they take uh when you copy it it takes uh and a space sometimes that happens maybe that's the reason that doesn't yes. accept you that yes i don't know why my platform uh, okay let, let me try one more time oops, oops. the words of the expert or not uh, I consider there is the uh, the comes in the right place because in the words of the ex experts are the extra information in that sentence. The economy benefits in the word of the experts, the economy benefits. Economy. Companies refrain from using daily trips to push competitors. Uh, I don't know. I, I'm not sure if if it's an a positive because uh, in the words of the expert would be defined the economy of benefits. In the words of the ex of the experts, I don't know. I I I think <laughs> is 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 correct. Uh, the sentence. Uh, yes, could be. Okay. Economy benefits in the work of the experts, but companies refrain from using the tricks to push competitive. Okay. And the next one is a key component to workplace ethics, aside from integrity, is being honest and doing the right thing at all times, key components to work okay. for very can, can you repeat that? Um, can you repeat that word in, in English? The honest, which one, teacher? Honesto in English, honest, honest, good. Okay, all right, yeah, so you don't pronounce the H. Right, so it's not honest, but just honest. Honest. Mm -hmm. Okay, honest. 
is not like a jota, honest. No. It, yeah, it's it's the H is silent. Okay. Mm -hmm. A key component to work ethics, aside from integrity, is being honest and doing the right thing at all times. A key component mm -hmm. to work ethics, aside from integrity. Is the screw finished? Not yet. Okay, it's just say you I I don't hear any talking. Do you hear me right now? Yeah, I can hear you now, but I, I, I didn't hear that you guys were talking between the two of you. So remember, the key here is discussion. That's why you're working in a group to discuss. In my opinion, no, no one, not all, not all one have a positive of home. For me, it's comprehensible. I could identify some uh, with the a positive, but it is uh, not uh, clear at all for me the idea of a positive. I understand that is a um an important or emphasize something in the in the sentence. Yes. No, no, Jennifer, it's not emphasizing anything. It's it's identifying or defining the noun. That's what it's a it's it's either a noun or a noun phrase that identifies or defines another noun. Okay, for example, in the number two. We have criminal acts committing or tolerating. You, I, I don't know how to pronounce this word. Unethical. Unethical activities can cripple a company's reputation. And then we well, identify that this part is the positive. Mm -hmm. Okay, and is describing criminal acts mm -hmm. or defining Correct. criminal acts. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And criminal then act, criminal act is a positive. Yeah, criminal acts, comma, or minor. The positive is the part that is committing or tolerating. Committing or tolerating. Unethical um, activities. Unethical. Ah, it's unethical. Unethical. Yes. Unethical. Yes. Unethical. Non non-ethical. Yes. Something Pro that is yeah. not ethical. Yeah. Yeah. I understand. No, I haven't uh, um understand the word. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Un unethical. Yeah. That's why I can't pronounce Unethical. Okay. Yeah. And then yes, I uh, identified that this was the. Well, this is the a positive mm -hmm. the phrase right. in the sentence. Right, exactly. Yes, and the next and next one says not putting up with bad behavior like harassment or discrimination. It's also 
describing or identifying the bad behavior. Right. And then this is the a positive mm -hmm. phrase. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. And then the number four. I thought that first of all, I thought that this part, hold on, um, no, but this, this one, this one no, does not have, this one does not have a positive, but and the first I thought that many of the best management practices. I thought that this part was, I think that is, a, I think that is in a, a, a positive, but, well, no, no, this is not a positive. Why not? Well, it's defining that that are the best management practices, right? Mm -hmm. These, yeah, these are defining the, well, yeah. So I think that is to be more specific that the currently on trend and that that would be the positive. The number four. Um, but I don't know why this, uh, we don't have to, to add commas on it. Number four, I don't have any commas. Yes, but I don't have, I don't know why. Ah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Because the, the, the conduct, then the best man, La mayoría de los manejos prácticas. It's okay. You guys are finished? Yes, teacher. Yeah, we're finished. Oh, okay, perfect. I'll see you in the main room in a moment. Okay. 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 Thank you for for your help. I think is it was very helpful. Are you guys finished? Yes, yeah, teacher. I was yeah. checking with uh, Mario because uh, I I work in the uh, I work the platform in my cell phone. Because when I am working in different place, when I had a little time, I try to to work. But that's why I I, I work in the in my cell phone. But uh, there was a one exercise that doesn't work in my cell phone. But I I I was doing in in my computer mm -hmm. and. Here is is okay. Okay. It's yes. I have perfect. a one hundred percent. Wonderful. Okay. I'll see you in the main room then. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. Great. Thank you, also, Mario. You're welcome. You're welcome, man. Okay. 
Um, is that everybody? I think I'm missing a few people. Okay. All right, sounds like, um, okay, so it sounds like everybody is here now. Okay, so let's check the answers. Okay, so remember, I'll repeat. In order for something to be in a positive, it has to be one, defining the noun, or two, identifying the noun. What's the difference between the two? What's the difference? Well, if I am defining, it means I'm giving a definition of something. So somebody can um, can know what I'm like, what I uh, what it is I'm talking about, right? Like, it's kind of like like when you look in a dictionary. What what is the word? What is the meaning of the word? Uh, the word means this. Okay, so think of it that way. That's that's a defining. Okay, so it's giving me a definition just like a, a dictionary, or it can be identifying, which means that it's showing me the identity of something. I'm able to identify and say, ah, that's the one. So I don't need, I don't need you to def tell me what the definition is. I need you to be able to help me identify what it is. For example, I'm talking about a man, a man, what, what has happened with the man? Ah, the man wearing the gray suit. That helps me identify. I know what a man is. I don't need to, I don't need you to give me a definition of what a man is. What I need you to do is tell be able to help me identify which man we're talking about. Ah, that's the man in the gray suit. Does that make sense? Yeah. So that's what an appositive is. It's helping me identify or define a noun. If the identification or the description of the noun is extra information that I don't need to complete the idea of the sentence, then we can we can put the commas. But if I need that information to complete the sentence, then no commas. Okay? It's similar, but not the same as a, the, uh, the parenthetical element, which is extra information, but not it's not necessarily um, identifying or defining and not necessarily giving this extra information about a noun. It can be extra information about anything. Okay. So with that in mind, Let's check the answers. Um, you guys see my PowerPoint? Yes, teacher. Yeah? Okay. All right. Yes, okay. Teacher. Perfect. Okay. So let's let's start. First of all, um, I want you to tell me if it's if it's uh, an appositive or not. So, number one, happy employees increase productivity and make it easier to attract the talented new hires. Is in, my, in my opinion, is not an is not a, a positive. Good. Not a positive. You're right. It's not an appositive. Okay. Therefore, we're not going to end. And it's pretty easy to identify this one because, um, you know, we have the, the noun or the subject, which is happy employees. And right after the... the and, uh, and also has the ad comes. Yeah. 
So if there's, you're not new, if you're yeah, not new. yeah, because notice this is happy employees is the subject, the, the noun, and then we have the verb. There's no extra information, there's nothing there. So it's not a positive, you don't need to do anything, don't change anything. Okay, so far you guys understand why you don't have to change anything. So far, this teacher. Yeah. Okay. All right. Next. Criminal acts committing or um, tolerating unethical activities can cripple a company's repetition. Is there is this a positive or not an a positive? Yes, teacher. Yes, what? Is there a positive? Yes, this is an a, po a positive. Good. Criminal acts. Good. Okay. The, so we do have a positive, and the positive is committing or tolerating Maybe, unethical yes. activities. Yes. Right? And it's pretty easy to identify it because the, um, criminal acts is the, the noun, the subject. And then we have the... Okay. the verb, which is can cripple. And there's something in between there. And what this is doing is giving me, um, we're defining, we're defining what a criminal act is. Okay, so we know this is a positive. The next question is, do you, do in, we? Mm -hmm. In what? Uh, in the criminal act. So do we need it? Yes or no? You don't need at the cost. Is this is this extra information or is it essential information? So it's pretty simple if, if it's a, if it's Essentially, if it's if we can eliminate it, it's possible to eliminate. Then it's extra information. So can I eliminate it? Can the sentence make sense if I just say criminal acts can cripple a company's reputation? Is that okay? They consider yeah. you can eliminate that part. Right. Exactly. Because I can eliminate it, then in that case, you can I can add commas. Yeah. Exactly. I can add the commas. Okay, because I can eliminate it. Okay, does that make sense, guys? So it's not an positive. Yeah, it's a positive. Mm -hmm. A positive just means that I am defining or identifying now. And in this case, I am, um, I am um, defining what a criminal act is. Okay. So yes, it's a positive. Okay. Next number three. Not putting up with bad behavior like harassment or discrimination can make work more enjoyable for employees. So, a positive or not a positive? Uh, a positive. Yep, it's in a positive. Because like harassment or discrimination define the, the bad behavior. It, it, um, it's, yeah, it's like identifying what right. kind of uh, bad, bad behavior. Okay, so so this part here, um, the harassment you or can discrimination. Have too. Okay, so the the next part is if I eliminate, if I eliminate this information, does it make sense? Yes. So if I elim if I eliminate this this part here. Like harassment uh, or discrimination. If I eliminate this part, does it make sense? Yes. Yeah. 
can I say, yeah. not putting up with bad behavior can make work more enjoyable for employees? Yes. The answer is yes. So yes. therefore. Teacher in the in platform, uh, I I um, I put the comma in this phrase and mm -hmm. it's bad. Mm. And uh, you need I don't I don't remember if you have to add the period or remove the period from the sentence. Mm. You need add, add add period. Put period and I I you you can try to to do it in the in the computer because I I said I said the teacher I had the same problem, but I I working in my cell phone. But in this case, I I could uh, I could do it by by my on my computer, right? In the cell phone doesn't doesn't accept. Mm, okay, so for whatever reason, it wasn't working on your on your on your cell phone. Okay, yeah, but this is the answer. Not putting up with bad behavior, comma, like harassment or discrimination can make uh, work more enjoyable for employees. So that is in a positive, and we add the uh, the, the comments. Next, number four, many of the best management practices currently on trend are easier to achieve in the company's acts, acts ethically. In this, in this case, in platform is bad, what? So this what is do in this case. So this is an a What do you do in this case? And okay. not par not putting up with bad behavior, comma. Like has a, or this or discrimination, comma. And platform is bad. In this case, what do you do? Uh, did you hear the su suggestions? that they gave you the the your classmates were giving you suggestions to eliminate the or put the com uh, the period at the end or something like that or to no, also I eliminate, eliminate the uh, eliminate a period or put period is bad okay then you just you literally just have to copy and paste I would, that's what i would suggest copy and paste which number is Number three, she's talking about number three. Yes, yeah, just don't need to add the period at the end, copy and paste. Yeah, just copy and paste. And put uh, the commas. Yes, um, you need to yes, you need to add the commas. Mm -hmm. So copy and paste with yeah. the commas and the period and you'll be all fine. That's all. But are you try are, are you working in your cell phone or in your uh, computer? Uh, when cell phone. Ah, okay. Try in the computer. I I was no, the no same problem that with you. My computer fixed. Me fixed. Ah, okay. But in the cell phone, I I think doesn't doesn't work this, uh, this uh, exercise, right? But in the in the computer, yes. Maybe maybe at work, Wendy. Maybe you can try it with the computer at work. No, no tengo computador en mi, en mi casa. No sirve. At work. Not at home. At work. No, no. It's, it's, it's impossible to work other things in my work. Okay. But maybe you can find a way to do it from a computer. O sea, busque alguna manera de, de poder hacerlo en una computadora. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Maybe that will help. Okay, let's continue. Um, number four. Many of the best management practices currently on trend are easier to achieve if the company acts ethically. So... Do we have an a positive or not a positive? Not a positive teacher. No positive? No. Not. 
Okay. So, um, yeah, not a positive. So what do we have to do? If this is not in a positive, what do we have to do then? Any ideas? I, I, I think, teacher, uh, all the information, all, all the, uh, the sentence, Mm -hmm. is necessary to complete the, the, the idea. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because if you eliminate one or part of this, I think it doesn't make sense. Mm -hmm. What about the, the part currently on trend? Yeah. It's not a complement mm -hmm. or explanation. Um, you can eliminate that part. It's a question. Actually, <clears throat> to be honest, this one is an appositive. Yes, it is an appositive. Why? Because there is a part here that is identifying. And what are they identifying? They're identifying Currently on the many of the best management practices. That's what we're identifying. That is. Oops, sorry. So which which of the best management practices are we talking about? We're talking about? Currently on trend. Yeah, oh, okay. currently on trend, yes. Yeah, currently on trend. Okay, this part here. Identifies. But it no, no, no necessarily separated by comma. Exactly. Yes, because if you eliminate that, eliminate that part, the sentence has not sense. Doesn't make sense, yeah. Doesn't make sense. Yeah, exactly. So we, we need to keep it. Because that is the difference. Yes, yes, you 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 are right. That is the difference. Uh, we don't need uh, to set off. Mm -hmm. So it isn't uh, a positive. Yeah, yes. so it isn't a positive, but there's no need for comments. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, that's my uh, is is not extra information, but is I think is essential. Essential, yeah. essential information. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, okay. because there are mm -hmm. there are practice, right? Mm -hmm. uh, there are practice from different uh, uh, I don't know fuentes uh, or 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 times, but in this case is. Actually, yeah, on 10. Trend. It's current, yeah. It's current. currently on trend, yes. Yeah, mm -hmm. exactly. Okay. All right, let's continue. Uh, the, con the economy benefits, in the words of the experts, when companies refrain from using dirty tricks to crush competitors. <laughs> yes, teacher. So what? Is this in a positive or not a positive? Yes, uh, it's a positive. It's a positive. So it's defining or or identifying the in the, the economy benefits the experts, in the it's world of the experts. In the economy, sorry, the economy. So you're telling me that. That, uh, sorry, let me, let me change the here right now. So you're telling me that the economy, sorry, first of all, no, uh, let, let's start, let's, let's, let's rewind. 
What is the noun? What's the subject? The economy benefits. Are you sure? Yes, we're talking about. Okay. The All right. Oh, okay. So if this is the noun, what's the verb? Where is the verb? Where is the verb? Benefits. Mm, okay. So in that case, the economy of benefits is not the noun. What's the noun? Just the economy. And what's the verb? Benefits. Benefits. La economía se beneficia. Oh. Okay. So, is this in a positive? In that case, it's not an appositive. It's not an appositive. Because remember, appositives give me information that defines or identifies the noun. And even though we have, we do have information here in parentheses, we do have it. And the information is in the words of the expert, the experts. But this is not after the noun. Remember what I told you yesterday? It the, has to be put together. To ex the... Yes, exactly. It's directly after it's the okay. noun. Hey, I'm sorry. And not necessary is a is an a positive, even though uh, uh, there is a, a Comas. No, because a positives identify, identify oh, okay. or define a noun. This okay. is not defining or identifying a noun. So what is this? If it's not in a positive, what is it? This is a positive in the word of the expert. Okay, uh, so, right. identify the the. The noun. Good. The so, so it's not in a positive. So what is it? Spherical phrase. Yes, it's a exactly. Ah, okay. It's not a, a positive. Parenthetical phrase. Yes, exactly. So see, it's not in a positive. Not a positive. But it is a parenthetical phrase. Do you, wow. do you okay. see the difference now between a, a positive yeah, and a parenthetical it's, phrase? It's an extra information. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's extra information, but it's not defining okay. or identifying the noun. So okay. it's not a positive. It's not essential, also it's not essential information. Exactly, yes. Okay. It's not a message. Right. Okay. okay. So don't do anything about that. Number five, don't change anything. Okay. Very good. Number six now. A key component to workplace ethics, aside from uh, integrity, is being honest and doing the right thing at all times. Is this an positive? Yes or no? Not, not a positive. Not a positive. It's not a positive, guys. I think it's not a positive. I think that is a positive because uh, say workplace ethic is a specific. Mm. It 
the noun is a key component. Okay, so and the question is here, what is the noun? Let's start by that. What is the noun? A key component, a key. What's the noun that we are going to either define or identify? Oh, we workplace should. Ethics. Right, workplace ethics. Okay, so what's the information after workplace e ethics? I'm sorry. Yes, is that defining or identifying? Uh, not completely. It's not, right? No. It's not identifying, it's not defining. So is it uh, positive? No, it's not on the positive. It's not on the positive. You can remove aside from integrity and the sentence has sense. Mm -hmm. Ethics involve different values. If not necessary, only uh, integrity. Mm -hmm. And also you need to add the comms. But we do have to add comms, right? Before yeah. assets and after integrity. Yeah. Why? Why do I have to add a comments even if, even though it's not a positive? Uh, it's an extra information. Mm -hmm. It is extra information, but it's not a positive. It would be a parenthetical. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Does that make sense, guys? Yes. Okay. Yes, teacher. All right. There you go. Those are the answers. Okay, guys. So we're going to stop there because um, our time has run out. So I'm going to just take attendance right now. <clears throat> I hope that I, that helps you guys with the um with the answers for the the homework. Um, if it's not working, it's probably because of a space or a period. So just just to just the thing the 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 best way you can do is just simply copy and paste, and then add the commas if necessary, or add a period if necessary. Okay. I try, I try and it is well. Oh. It worked? Yes. Oh, wonderful. Excellent. Yes. Very good, Wendy. Excellent. Only only the first uh sorry, in one two nine it no no is correct. Mm -hmm. uh, you you uh, need to to eliminate the period. Eliminate, eliminate the, the period. period. Yes. The in in the for in the one two night. Yes, the best way to achieve a productive and diverse environment. Yes. Okay. Yes. You need to eliminate. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so let's uh, take the attendance, Christian. Present. Right, Delbert. No, right. Was Delbreth here at the beginning of the class? Uh no, I guess he wasn't. He no. he informed that he had yeah. some issue with this. Yeah, I I mean, it was for some reason I had him down that he had, but I don't remember seeing him. So okay. Um Diana. Here. 
Okay, wonderful. Thank you. Jennifer? Here. Yeah. Okay, good. Uh, Jorge Humberto? Present. Okay, good. Thank you. Uh, Manuel? Manuel Antonio? Oh, sorry, sorry. Yes, no, Manuel, Antonio. Man uh -huh. Manuel Antonio? It's all right. Uh, I'm here. Okay, I can't but... see you, but. Uh, oh, I'm sorry, teacher. I'm so sorry. I, I, I'm sorry. I'm here. Oh, okay. There you are. Okay, good. Thank you. Um, Maria Elena? No. Um, Mario Ernesto? Present, teacher. Okay, good, good. Um, Mario Jose? Present, teacher. Okay. Um, today we would have our our um our minutes together so you can stay after the class okay uh, norma present teacher thank you romario present great suleima present excellent susana present teacher excellent and wendy present teacher all right, wonderful. Okay, guys, so that will be all for um to, tonight. And I will see you guys tomorrow, which is going to be our last day uh, for the week and before the break. Okay, so I'll see you guys tomorrow. Take care and have a good evening. See you tomorrow. Good night. 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 Hello, Mario. Safe. Hi. How are you? Yeah, still good, eh? <laughs> okay, good, good. All right. So, um, how are you dealing with this, uh, parathetical element and, a uh, positives? Are you understanding this topic? Is it confusing for you? How are you dealing with it? Indeed, it's confusing. Uh, uh that uh, are making me struggle to understand uh, the parenthetical and also this topic that uh, that we we see today. Uh, I'm. I was trying to find some uh, another examples. In order to try to understand, uh, actually, I did the. In the I, I I was doing the, uh, the the homework uh, mm -hmm. before then, than the class. So that's helped me to, to know what what uh what was the the correct answer, and, but still, I guess I have to. Try to read something, or, or in order to uh, understand, or in order to to get it, uh, the the uh, and finally get the 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 correct information. Okay, um, what what exactly is giving trouble? Uh something is confusing to me the parenthetical and also the the uh the the topic that we start today uh because uh something is confusing for me uh what is to identify the the non uh or or in the in the phrase, what is uh, referring to? Uh, I mean, I can read it, and maybe I think that I can easily identify. But when I was doing the the exercise, uh. 
it took me a few uh times to to get the correct answer so that's why i'm saying that it's i'm struggling to 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 identify and get the i guess in identify it indeed the noun or the part of the uh the paragraph um okay um so it's taking you time but you are identifying it yeah okay um all right so it's okay if if it's taking you time but you are in the end able to identify it perfect um no problem because it, that means that all you need is more exam more more practice that's all you need, but you're understanding it, which is the important thing. So I'm not interested in you getting it quickly. That's not the important thing. The important thing is for you to understand the information. With time, it will become easier. With more practice, it will become fast. You will become faster. But the important thing is that you understand it. Yeah, it's just like like when you were just met, just remember when you were starting to learn English and you were um you were learning the, the simple past. Remember how difficult and how frustrating it was at the beginning to remember how to make the simple past, especially of the irregular verbs. And yeah, so yeah, it was it was difficult and you probably struggled with it and and you took time to remember what it was. But now it's something that with time, with the practice, yeah, yeah it's not a big it, deal. It's like uh when you are practicing, uh you are doing like a mechanical and and then you commence to do it easily. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, so like I said, it's, I'm not expecting you to do it super quick. If you take your time, that's fine. What's important is for you to get it, to understand it, that in the end, you do it because you understand it, not because somebody tells you the answer, but because you understand it. That's the most important thing. So if you're doing that, then we're fine. Um, Like I said, you only need more practice. And what I can do to help you is I can get you more exercises for practice. If that's do you would you like that? Yeah, I will I will like that. Okay. All right. So I'll I'll try to find some exercises for you to practice more with the positive um the uh, the positive uh, phrases. Okay. And um that way it'll be it'll you'll become faster at it but like i said the important thing is that you understand it okay, okay good all right um is there anything else that you're that you want to ask about you that you're having trouble with that you want to concentrate uh, 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 on no I, I guess uh the thing is that uh when uh when i'm saying i i, I mean I guess these things have to to be with the grammatical thing, you know. Even in the in the Spanish, the, the grammatical is is difficult. It, it, for people, at least for me, it's, it's difficult to uh to understand. Maybe not understand, but identify. For example, if you are if you ask for uh, a grammatical time in Spanish for the name, mm -hmm. probably I will not know what it is, mm -hmm. but normally we use it, we use it without knowing uh, that it is the grammatical time, mm -hmm. and, and that's the thing. With, with with all the the languages right uh, and have you noticed that in spanish 
people do not use commas very much. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and if they use it, they use it incorrectly. Yeah, indeed. <laughs> so I think that's probably one of the the biggest challenges that is happening right now. That it's that in our own language, in, in, in Spanish, we don't really use commas very much. Not because they're not used, but because we haven't really accustomed to using the commas. And so if it's difficult for us to use it in our own language, it, it's not going to be easy in a, in a second language. Indeed. So the best thing that we can do when we're learning a, a second language is to make sure that we learn our first language well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So if we understand, you know, because actually punctuation in, in Spanish and in English are actually very similar. Very, very similar. Not the same, but super similar. So if you understand it in Spanish, you'll understand it in English. So my suggestion is go back and 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 do it in Spanish. Find out how we use commas in Spanish. When you understand how to use commas in Spanish, using commas in English will be easier. Okay. <laughs> I, okay. Yeah, I because I understand that's it's 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 like um so we have to uh relearn what it's supposed that we learned some of the years ago. Yeah. And and if you think about it, it makes sense because in order to be an expert in a in in any like in a second language, you have to first be an expert in your first language. Yeah. It doesn't it doesn't make sense that you're gonna be an expert in a second language if your first language you don't understand it very well. So those people that speak very well and write very well second languages because in their first language they do it well first. Yeah. All right. So, <clears throat> so that's my 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 um my suggestion. Go back and read information in Spanish, which shouldn't be that difficult to read it directly in Spanish, of how commas are used in Spanish. And once you understand that then start reading how to use it in English and it will make sense. I'm pretty sure it'll make sense. Okay. 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 So um, anything else I can help you with? Um, so, oh, I guess no. No? Okay. All right. Well, um, anything else that comes to your mind, you can write directly to me and or write in the chat. And I will try to um, find exercises for the positive so you guys can work on it during the vacation. Okay, cool. <laughs> I, I don't know if you're going to really work on it during the vacation, but at least you'll have time for it. Uh, I, I have to work. Uh, actually, uh, sometimes I, I work even on the, uh, on the weekends. So mm, wow. suppose that the next weekend that it will be vacation. Uh, I will have to work, but uh, some colleague uh, asked me to, to change. So mm. I will take in a few days for resting. But because where I work, uh, we don't stop. Uh, never we, we work uh, actually 24-7. Uh, mm, we wow. only take the vacation, the, the annual vacation, not uh, on these holidays. Um, yeah, so you are working, working, working. Yeah, yeah. Uh, actually, I, I'm, I'm working at the uh, at the hotel port, so mm -hmm. uh, that that's why they never stop. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because yeah. It's just like um places like hospitals or things like that that yeah. you can't you know you don't really you can't have a vacation yeah yeah that's true but think of it it's it's an important thing that you're doing so yeah that's good.
Okay, well, uh, my Jose, I will let you rest because it's late now and you need to rest for tomorrow for last day of work or? Yes, so tomorrow will be the last day. Okay. Uh, but I did, I will come back on, on Monday. So yeah, about... okay, but at least Saturday, Sunday, you'll you'll rest. Okay, so one more day. We, we can do yeah. it. <laughs> yeah, we, we can, yeah. <laughs> okay. okay, see you tomorrow then. Okay, see you tomorrow. Okay, bye. Bye.